Hey guys, it's Renee. So I can't believe how fast was year 2014, but today we're going to be celebrating 2015. I cannot wait for this year and I've thought of sharing with you this really cool and easy kind of last minute idea. And sorry this video is kind of dark, it's because I was working at night. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. The first thing that I'm going to start doing is working on my numbers. I'm going to be making the 2, the 1 and the 5. And to guide myself, I'm using two lines and I'm just going to draw my numbers because I don't have any number cookie cutters. And once I have my numbers and I like them, I'm just going to go ahead and cut them. I'm not doing the zero because I'm doing something else with it. And once we start working with the cookies and cutting the shapes, we are going to find out what it is. Then I'm going to be using my cookie dough and you can choose any flavor you like. I'm using chocolate because I really like the combination of chocolate and nuts. And I'm just using my rolling pin with my space bands or my spacer bands to just have the same thickness in all my cookies. And once I have done that, I'm just going to take my cutted um, numbers and I'm just going to place them on the top in there. And with a knife, I'm just going to cut the numbers of the two, and then the one, and then the five. For my zero dough, I'm just going to be doing something different. I'm going to actually be using a round cookie cutter. And on the middle part, I'm just going to cut a kind of daisy. This is, I don't really know if it's symbolic or not, but I thought of a... Uh, incorporating this aspect into year 2015 because as a flower they bloom and they grow and I feel like this is going to be an awesome year or at least that's what I want it to be and that's why I'm just incorporating a flower but you can you know add any shape or form take your time while cutting them especially on the five I feel like I was almost going to break my dough but if you're careful and if you take your time and you go slow Nothing is going to happen to it. Once I have done that, I'm just going to preheat my oven to 350. And while that is being warmed, I'm going to be putting or adding my nuts. I'm just going to take a few nuts. How many depends on how many nuts you want to add on the top. And I'm just going to shove them. You can use a knife, you can use a spoon for this, or you can use your food processor if you have one, or your blender. I didn't want to clean any extra, so that's why I did it, you know, by hand. And once I have done that, I'm just going to take my brush, I'm going to dip it in some water, just to make it sticky enough for my nuts to go on top. I'm just going to, yeah, just start sprinkling on the top, you can use almond if you prefer, but yeah, this goes to the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes, but just keep an eye on them. I will hope you enjoy your new year and take advantage of it for good. Just do things that you didn't do before, just, um, you know, as something new. Yeah, I wish you the best. I'm going to be here uploading more stuff. That's one of the resolutions for the new years. I'm planning on just keep on track for two videos per week. Experiment with other kind of um, desserts. I feel like all I have been doing is cookies. So I'm just going to try more cupcakes, more cakes and all that stuff. And happy 2015. That's amazing, right? Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.